The pictures are hard to look at. A 14-year-old family pet recovering after being brutally mauled by another dog. It is a story that would touch most animal lovers, but this one, well, it's especially sensitive because it involved Janet J St. James. Now, she and her collie were walking over the weekend when a pit bull charged them. Channel 8's Teresa Woodard picks up the story from there. 28-month-old twins on a wagon ride, a basketball goal for a six-year-old, a neighborhood full of children, and now fear. It's scary. I mean, what, how would you protect both of them at the same time, you know, with the dog? This pit bull named Jetty is behind tall fences at Grapevine Animal Control. Saturday morning, he was loose, charging up High Timber Drive with no collar. He lunged at a garage door and then lunged at Channel 8 health reporter Janet St. James and her 14-year-old border collie, Emmy. I tried hollering at it to stop. It paused for an instant and then it attacked us. It got my dog in a classic pit bull chokehold trying to get her neck. Shh, my dog was screaming. I was screaming for people to come help us. A neighbor ran down and hit Jetty with a tire iron, but Emmy was badly injured and Janet had been bitten. It wasn't Jetty's first attack. Police say a woman has positively identified him as the animal that bit her dog two months ago. Neighbors describe being terrorized by big dogs from the same home for years. We were building a snowman in his front yard. It was Valentine's Day and all three dogs had gotten loose and they charged us, literally charged us in our yard. I carry pepper spray with me um, just because I feel like it's safer. Grapevine's animal laws mirror Texas state law. No dog breed is banned. Police say the owner rescues and fosters large breed dogs and as of now, she has not been cited. Her dog has been deemed dangerous, but she can't appeal. It's a dangerous situation for not only the, the animals that are involved, but certainly uh, the people that are surrounded by the animals. Janet is physically okay, but she is angry. Jetty does remain under quarantine here at Grapevine Animal Control, and it does appear that this owner is going to appeal the dangerous dog ruling. She has 10 days to do that, and she could regain custody. If a judge does give her custody back, she has to follow strict guidelines. She will have to report to the city if she moves this dog to any other city, and animal control in that location would be notified. Janet's dog, Emmy, is recovering, but it's still touch and go. Live in Grapevine, Teresa Woodard, Channel 8 News.